So funnily enough, when I was working with Mafaro on our first play at Hampstead called Malandi Zimu, he handed me this book, not really explaining why, but I read the book, fell in love with it, and I went back to him, I was like, Mafaro, that was such a good book about Zimbabwe, and what great research material, not knowing that he'd actually got the rights for the book, and that he was having thoughts of changing this into a play. So I got involved about, I'd say, a year and a half ago. So this play has been in my head for a long time. We've done multiple R&Ds, and now we're finally in the rehearsal room getting it ready for audiences. I fell in love with Darling. Um, I was struck by how true the portrayal was of Zimbabwe, how it felt like it was a really lived environment, that it's gone through a lot politically, um, but also a playground for these young kids to explore and find themselves. Um, that, that move to the US is something that I saw parallels in terms of the UK experience. So I love the book overall. I got through it so quickly, and it was nice to see African voices and also a female voice being the center of it. Casting the show was hard, if I'm honest, because it's such an ensemble piece. So finding actors that have the chemistry that's needed, also that can um, do this level of multi-rolling. Some of them are playing like three, four characters. So in terms of skill, um, it was hard to find the right people. And also it's such a loved book and people already have quite a fixed idea on who these characters are and what they go through. So being in line with the book, finding actors that are like very talented and multi-skilled and also that are like willing to go on tour, um, it was a hard find, but I think we've been so lucky with the people that we've landed on because um, they're all super talented and they also really care about the story and actually have an attachment to Zimbabwe in some sort. So I'm so happy about the bunch that we've got. In terms of rehearsal, I think the most exciting thing is just getting the words off the page. Um, we've been reading the script for years now in terms of finding things that are funny and you know really connecting to it on a personal level but now that we're actually be able to get the mechanics in getting people on their feet these characters are really embodied and you know really incorporating the set because the set is now another character in terms of showing Darling's evolution so yeah I'm just happy to kind of just get it up and get going and for audiences to see it. So We Need You Names has many themes. The first prominent theme I would say is childhood. A lot of the first act is told through the eyes of darling and through the eyes of children. So quite hard hitting themes, um, but all done in a way that means that the play is accessible and also really paints a beautiful picture of Zimbabwe and what it's like to live there. Uh, one, another theme um, that's really prominent in the play is the migrant story, the idea of being displaced and moving from when you're, where you're originally from and moving into a new environment. Um, Darling goes on that journey from Zimbabwe to the US um, and it's just the idea of having to assimilate, adapt, change yourself, mould into this new environment and what costs that, what, what is the cost of that in terms of on your mental health, your physical health and just how you then view the world. Um, I hope that audiences understand Darling's perspective, which is the migrant story moving from Zimbabwe to the US, and really sympathise with her and empathise with her, because I do think it's quite a specific story on the page, but a lot of the themes are really universal, so I think it's really important that people come with an open mind, um, coming to a studio show, which is trying to achieve a lot, um, and just the one thing that we're trying to lean into is concept and um, things being quite compact, but also the story not, um, yeah, the story being full and, you know, the audience going on a journey and it feeling like something that, yeah, a story that's for all really and not just specific to Zimbabweans or Africans, it should be for all.